welcome back to another episode of Animal Diet Formulator. So this is my second video doing the Animal Diet Formulator review. A lot has changed this year here in 2023, and I want to show you a few things. This isn't going to be a super long video because it's still the same program, but it just looks differently and they've added a few things to it that are pretty amazing. I have been meaning to do this video for a while now, but hey, better late than ever. So let's go back to the beginning. I signed up for the Animal Diet Formulator beta program back in 2018. So I was automatically signed up to the professional level program. And when it was in beta, there was a lot of things to work out, a lot of bugs. But once they got it to an online platform, it has been smooth sailing. Animal Diet Formulator is online software that helps us formulate diets for our pets. They have three um, accounts. So you can have an individual account, which is just basically dog owners, cat owners, pet parents. That's what you would use. That's what I would use just to make formulation for my pets, learn more about what my dogs can and cannot eat, compare ingredients to figure out you know, what's more nutritious or um, what I need to add to cover um, a specific nutrient. The next level is professional. That's actually where I am now. And you can see on the screen right here, professional version. This is because that's where I came in on beta. It's going to expire January 12th, 2024. And then I'll be going back to the, um, the regular, com not commercial, but individual account. The professional version, it just gives you a lot more and it's meant for people who are doing meal formulation um, services and nutritional consults for people. It's meant for, you know, a professional. Um, this is great for veterinarians. It's great for um, people who run raw feeding groups, people who are helping to guide people when it comes to creating a diet. One thing that I truly believe is that raw feeding does not have to be complicated. It does not have to be overwhelming. It is insanely easy to feed raw. However, there are so many things that could be happening with someone's dog or cat, but since I write about dogs, I'm just going to say dogs, but there are so many things that could be happening that a super easy diet that I feed to my dogs may not work for someone else, or someone may just feel more comfortable working with a professional. That's what that um, account is for. It's for the professionals. And then there's the commercial. The commercial accounts are going to be for like the pet store owners, but mostly, actually, I think the pet store owners will probably be pro um, professional as well. The commercial account are going to be for raw food brands. So you think of a, you know, name any, fill in the blank, any raw food brand out there. That's, this is what they're going to use to formulate any type of meals to test things out. That's the level that they're going to use. So let's go over to those accounts just to show you individual, professional, and commercial. I won't go over the deep, the differences because honestly, if you're watching this, you're probably not um, a raw food brand. You're probably like me, a pet owner. Um, the individual account gives you every single thing that you need. If you look at the professional, which is where I am now, I don't do meal formulation services for other people. I just do it for myself. So I don't need this. I only have four dogs. I don't need something for a hundred pets. I don't need to make 250 recipes. I only feed a handful of proteins and I'm building recipes around those prote proteins using a base mix. So mostly I'm not even making recipes. I'm just comparing ingredients. Then you have access to a, a, over a thousand ingredients. I don't have access, you know, IRL to a ton of ingredients. So as long as the ones that I have access to locally are covered, which they are, I'm good here. Um, you can do custom ingredients, which is awesome. So if I have the ingredient panel and amounts of my base mix, which I think my friend um, does, I need to ask her if she does, Destiny might have them, but I'm going to upload those to it. But that's something that you can add custom ingredients um, that aren't covered in here or would not be covered in here because I did speak with the folks of Animal Diet Formulator and although the initial database does have some commercial products in it, they don't plan on adding other commercial products going forward. So it's up to us to add those ourselves. So I like that. And then you can do 10 um, recipes per report uh, or 10 reports per recipe. I don't run reports. I don't need that. So 
you can manage the pet owners. It's just me, manage the pets, manage custom ingredients, manage measurements, save as and duplicates. And there's an ingredients table. You can toggle back and forth between ingredients and you can adjust nutrients. Groovy. That's what all of us can do. When it comes to the differences, and some of these are really cool. You can see this is where we end as far as the um, individual account. But with the professional account, which I love, is I'm going to miss the export import function. And the reason why is because I would sometimes export my recipes to share with people. I don't have a problem doing a screen capture <laughs> I mean, or just typing it out. It's not a big deal to me, but that I am going to miss that because the reports are gorgeous. Um, cooking method. I have learned that when your dog gets older, they start um, preferring cooked food. Rodrigo has gotten a little more picky about his food. And although he sometimes likes cook, but mostly he just likes his room to, food to be room temperature. But it's nice to be able to have the cooked option so that you can see how the nutrients change once you add cooking to the process. And then there's the weight loss function. If you have a dog that needs to lose weight, you can adjust the recipe so that you can have, this is where their weight needs to be and it can get you there. I love that. And I think it's a bummer that as individuals, we don't have that function for our pets, but I get it. Maybe there's something a little more complicated when it comes to um, talking about the diet. For me personally, I just cut back on food and add a little more vegetables for fiber and up the exercise for weight loss. I do that for myself too. You can add sub users. You cannot do this with the individual account, but you can with the professional account. Um, and a sub user is basically, if you have a friend that wants to use the animal diet formulator, you can go ahead and pay for them to be on there. I did this once the person never accessed the software. I am annoyed because I lost $50 because of it. And although $50 isn't a lot for a lot of people, when you think about what you can spend on $50, like I could have gone to, um, an outlet store or I could have placed an order through the raw food co-op, or I could have added it to my wild Wednesday budget, um, or it could just simply still be in my bank account. So I'm a little annoyed with my friend for not actually taking advantage of this opportunity to use the software, but it is what it is. We got to let that go and move on. Lesson learned. My suggestion to you is if you have friends who want to just use the software, don't add them as a sub user, split the cost of the software with them so that they are on hook for more money and they will actually use it. Or if they don't use it, they are out of a lot of money, not you. So the individual amount per year, and the reason why I select it per year is because you get two months for free, is $249. That's what I'm paying for the beta, which is going to be expiring in January. Um, the professional is going, is going to be $800 I'm rounding up, and then the commercial is $3,000. So I think this is perfect for everyone who wants to just use this software to test around with ingredients, create small meals um, or recipes, and just basically learn more about feeding their dogs a homemade diet. So this is the app. This is my dashboard. This is completely changed from the way it used to look. And I love it because it has everything all on one screen and then you can go to where you need to go. Um, these are my recipes that I've created so far. Education is basically if whatever you need to learn how to do, you can find it here. Um, ADF discoveries, this is like their articles. What I'm most excited about is this one right here with the mussels and oysters because I just purchased um, a five pound bag of blue um, lip mussels and I want to do an article comparing blue lip to green lip mussels. So this is going to be very helpful. This is going to be my account. Um, information. So as I showed you earlier, professional versions expires in January. After that, this will be the ind individual version and with whatever the expiration date, I guess, January, 2025. So let's just peek at one of my recipes. This is something I started um, in April of 2022. So over a year ago. So you can see how often I've been in animal diet formulator recently. But um, I just, I don't make recipes. I just play around with the ingredients. So this isn't a recipe that I put together. It was something, I found a picture of food that I took and I 
broke down what was in the bowl to see what was missing. So the recipe included tripe, um, zucchini, it was um, actually zucchini noodles, uh, canned pumpkin, kelp, oysters, uh, and a chicken egg. Oh, what else? Oh, and canned sardines. And so I wanted to see, you know, how well did I do? And I just guessed on the amount of everything that was in there. This recipe you can see has red flags. So it's low in calcium. This is interesting because I used to believe that beef tripe was a great substitute for bone. It is not, <laughs> but it's low in calcium and the calcium phosphorus ratio is off. It's high in iodine. It is, um, needs to be adjusted in the vitamin B1 and B2. Is that it? Yes. And then we got some issues with the fats. And so basically what you want to do is go around and play with these ingredients, but you can also do something like right here where you can just click and it'll tell you what you can do to adjust your numbers. It's super easy, but what I loved about this particular recipe and playing around with it is that it has seven ingredients. And one thing that's important to me is that when we're making recipes, we shouldn't be, we shouldn't have a, a recipe that has 17 or more ingredients in it. The average person isn't going to want to do that. It's expensive to put it together because um, you're going out buying all these ingredients individually. And I don't know. I just think raw feeding should be easy. So this is a very, very basic view of what the animal diet formulator looks like now. If you want to see something where I go more into details into how I use an animal diet formulator, I'll link to the other video below because that hasn't changed. It's just that the look of it, it's more user-friendly. I mean, it was already amazing, but it's there. I love the fact that they're constantly updating and making it better. So definitely check this out. Uh, yes, it is an investment, but to me, I look at that $249 a year as when I pay for courses. Um, if it's something that you're definitely going to be using to help, whether it be to educate yourself, which is I use it as for educational purposes. I use it for when I'm writing articles for my website and creating content for social media. I use this so that I can get the most accurate information possible about various nutrients. Other people may use it because they want to be able to formulate a diet for their dogs. They want to be able to make sure they're hitting all the nutritional markers for their dogs. Whatever the case may be, I think $249, $250 when you round it is a good price. It's fantastic for DIY raw feeders. If you're feeding 100% commercial raw, you don't need to make this investment. But if you are wanting to do um, DIY, I think that this is an amazing investment. Of course, you can also work with a meal formulator. But one thing that's beautiful about this is that you have it for the entire year. You can make as many recipes. Well, you can make a set number of recipes, but not many people are going to be making more than 25 recipes. At least I shouldn't say that. I didn't make that many. I've had it for years and I still don't have 25 recipes. Um, you just delete the ones you don't need and you make more of them. It it's perfect. It's not like you're going to be in here every day creating recipes, but it's going to be one of those things where it gives you a little bit of peace of mind, knowing that you've got things covered. If you're looking at a recipe, if you're in a group and people are talking about various ingredients and you see a diet um, that people are saying, nope, that's completely um, deficient. You can plug in those numbers, even if you just have estimates and have a better understanding of why it's deficient. It's just a really good educational tool. So that is the update for Animal Diet Formulator. Definitely check out my other video for it. And let me know in the comments if this is something that you see yourself investing in. I'd be really curious to know. Talk later, guys.